Hello and welcome to the UK Lebanon Tech Hub podcast. Today we have Lilian Assaf from Facebook teaching us how to use the platform to add value to your business. So let's dive right into the topic. One of the major points you touched in tonight was the Facebook Pixel. So what exactly is it? So the Facebook Pixel is a piece of JavaScript code mm -hmm. uh, that you can actually create from your own account uh, ads manager. And you can take that code, put it in your page website, uh, between, you know, in your HTML, between the head section. And this pixel will allow us to understand more on how people are actually browsing your website. So this piece of code attracts your visitors. And what possibilities does it open? So uh, it attracts the visitors, the people who even search and land on your page, uh, or people who clicked on the ad and came to your uh, website. Uh, so let's call it website, actually. And then we understand more how much time they're spending, what kind of products are they browsing, are, still, are they still on the home page. So it, to tie it up with the marketing funnel, we will know if we just want to keep them at a consideration level where we want them to consider buying things, or actually get them to show, show them exactly what product they were interested in and mm. invite them to convert, Great. showing them the right format as well. So it's kind of like tying the audience with the targeting and the creative all together to deliver the right ad. So obviously this opens uh, a few more doors in terms of marketing and what opportunities does that really give me? S things like targeting people who are interested in your um, product. Uh, targeting people who have converted on your website mm -hmm. so you can uh, target them either to upsell cross-sell or you can exclude them by excluding them actually you're properly investing your dollar in this case because you know for example that they're not gonna buy anything for the next week you can also create lookalike audiences based mm -hmm. on those who have purchased something from your website and lookalike audience is a method where we actually uh, look into the seed audience and we find people who behave, we, who behave like them. Generally, we have seen lots of success with this feature, so definitely if you do website custom audiences, basically installing the pixel, finding audiences based on what they're doing on the website, targeting them or retargeting them, you create the lookalikes based on this. So that's a very efficient remarketing tool. 100%. It's mainly for remarketing. It's also for consideration. So mm -hmm. when you find lookalike audiences, you would want to probably start moving them down the funnel. So right. you start in the middle and take them down. Another thing you can do with the lookalike audience, you can also start um, looking at people who uh, who are browsing on the website but aren't converting. Or uh, you can actually look at people who have your applications but don't convert on apps, convert more on desktop. Mm -hmm. So you can leverage you know, the audience itself and you can also leverage based on the behavior. of People who installed your apps, you can actually find people who look like them to invite them to install the app. And people who have, let's say, um, saw something on your app but didn't convert, you can actually retarget them on the website, on desktop, okay. so they can convert on website because you know generally that people convert more on desktop than on website, mm -hmm. on mobile. So, I mean, just think of it as uh, opportunities cross device and cross channel. You can find <laughs> all this information on developers.facebook.com. There's information about the Facebook Pixel and the SDK. The SDK is the software development kit, which is the equivalent of Facebook Pixel for mobile, mobile apps. Thank you very much.